Day 2 of the Quarantine Reviews. Edmund turns his attention to the debut single of Dialect. So continuing the quarantine reviews, we have a band who I saw back in February at HRH Metal Festival, before everything went completely nuts. I saw them on Stage 3, which is the stage for up-and-comers. They're a pretty cool band. They're, per their own description, a new metal post-grunge metalcore band, which, once again, is a bit outside of my wheelhouse compared to other genres, because, I've said in the past, not that into metalcore, but this is another exception. This is still going to follow the one good, one bad format, but the key difference is I'm going to be name checking each of the members of the band because these are guys that really deserve to be known. They're very proficient, they're really in love with the music they make, so they deserve attention. So favourite track on the single is Underwater. It's cool, it's tight, it really showcases each of the band members' abilities perfectly. Guitarist Mariano absolutely makes his instrument sing, having these nice flowing solo parts that really round out the sound and push it forward to making it absolutely exquisite. Bassist Matt Augustiniak really adds a nice chunky weight to the song that you could not do without. Matt Haynes, the vocalist, he really knows how to switch up between harsh and clean vocals and fully put the message forth of the song. And drummer Jamie Beaumont really helps to give a full force and power that properly rounds out the sound. Weakest track on the single is The Demons I Hide. Overall, it's not a bad track, but there feels like odd bars missing. Um, there's moments here and there where the transitions feel a bit off kilter and I feel like if they went back and just filled in odd bits it, it's one of those tracks that could do with just being a few seconds longer to facilitate that transition and then it would ultimately be far less jarring but overall it's an enjoyable track nonetheless Overall, I'd give Dialect's debut single a 4 out of 5. It's cool, it's nice and enjoyable, it gives a good idea of what the band's sound is like, and gives a slightly new spin on the sounds of new metal, metalcore and post-grunge, whilst keeping loyal to those genres. It's one of those instances where it could make me a full convert. Um, it also makes me excited to see what a full album would be like. So, when that comes out, I'll definitely be picking it up. That's it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully this crisis will not drag us underwater.